Hello, welcome to a new episode of How about UV Map, where I show how to UV map subscribers' models. So in this episode, I got this helmet uh, that was sent to me to UV map. So let's see. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's got an interior and an exterior, and it's got a few holes here. So let me check the topology. So it looks like it's one model. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that I like to check uh, is to make sure that geometry is clean. So on the mesh cleanup, I click on select matching polygons and I look for angles basically. Apply. And it looks like this model has angles. I control one to see where they are. Oh, okay, so it's not bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just let Maya do it. Select. Okay, so it's a clean model now. So the reason I don't want to have angles when I'm doing UVs is because usually the on-fold tool uh, does not work if you have angles on your model. So you want to make sure your geometry is clean. So now we are ready to start. So click here uh, to open the UV window or go under UV, UV Editor. And also make sure that the UV Toolkit is open, which is this right here. And typically when you open the UV Editor, the UV Toolkit opens with it. And if not, I think it's also under... Uh, I don't think there's a window for it. I think it just opens when you open the UV Editor. But in my case, I just stuck them in here. So, okay, so typically what I like to do is apply a planar map, which it looks like it's already been applied here, but I'm just gonna reset it. So click here for planar map. And that gives us uh, UVs for the entire model, obviously not clean UVs. And essentially what we wanna do is we wanna start to cut the pieces for our model. So let's see, I also have a shaded mode on here, but I think I'm going to disable that. And I also like to um, have seams enabled, which is, I think border seams. So it's this icon right here. And okay, so we are ready. So first things first, I'm going to start cutting away areas here. And I think we want to cut here because it's probably the simplest. And then when I have that edge selected, what I can do here is under the UV window, I can hold down shift, uh, right mouse click, and go to cut. And essentially that cuts my UVs there. And that's what I'm going to be doing this whole time. So for this helmet, um, one thing that I covered before in other videos is that you want to cut your UVs where you have 90 degree angles. Uh, so in this case, areas like in here, where there's clearly a, an angle change, almost 90 degrees here from here to here. So you would want to cut in here. So I think I double click there and I'm going to press G to uh, redo my last uh, step that I did, which was cut UVs. Uh, let's see, oh, for some reason it cut UVs here. Oh, actually it looks like there's a open geometry here. I believe that's what that is. So if I move this vertice, vertex, so you can see there's an open geo. I'm gonna close that just to make sure then so those back up to sew UVs, put on shift and then move and sew edges. So let's continue here and let's do the interior here. Uh, let's see, double click that. Cut UVs in there. So we have that separated and we also want to do it from the interior. Not hard to see here. Double click and cut there. 
and the geo here makes it pretty easy to do so we're happy i'm happy that's the case so also i'm going to cut it here because when we unfold this uh we want this to be a straight line basically and there's also 90 degree change here from here to here i'm going to cut here and let's continue i should probably have enable should probably enable um symmetry so i don't have to do each side actually let's do that let's uh hold down Control shift right click and go to symmetry and enable that and as you can see now uh, i think the model here is symmetrical which makes it even easier for us so let's see we can probably cut here because there's a, almost a 90 degree angle Although there's a possibility we could get away with not doing that, but I think we should, probably should do it. So I'll double click that, uh, cut the Vs there. Nice, it goes all the way around. And let's do cut here at a 90 degree angle, it's really sharp. I'm going to keep these connected for now, but we may have to cut. Uh, here as well. Let's leave it for now. Let's see, we are going to have to cut here because of that 90 degree change in that topology. Okay, I think that's looking good. Obviously, we're going to have to let's see here and okay everything else is fine let's look at this here so these these pieces don't really come out too much out of the uh of the planar uh, area here so i think it should be fine if we leave it connected but if there is distortion or anything happening here we may have to cut this out uh, based on experience, I think these are going to be fine. Now for the holes, all we have to do is treat these as if they are cylindrical maps. So look at inside and outside, up over here. And then in here. And we basically have to do the same for all of these holes. Uh, we also want to make sure you cut the seams where if not, uh, it's not notable. So in this case, because we're looking, we'll probably be looking at it from this angle. So it's better to have the seam at the top than at the bottom where you can actually see it just in case. Up here, but I did. And the interior, we are. Let's see. Well, let's finish up getting this. Uh, the holes here. Shouldn't take too long. Also, if your Maya starts to get slow, usually what I do is I go to edit, delete all my type history. And then Maya starts uh, performing as it should. Sometimes the history just uh, oops, stacks up a little bit too much, and then it makes your Maya scene get a lot slower. So if you ever experience uh, slow down with your Maya, always make sure you delete your history if you know you're not going to use that history. Although typically with Maya, you don't necessarily. Leaving the history on is not necessarily that useful. So we're almost done here. Okay. So we are, I think, ready to unfold it. 
except we want to uh, cut the actual helmet because right now it's just one large piece uh, and I'm going to do it in the middle all the way around okay let's see so we are ready to unfold it so this is usually my process I cut or my cut the areas that I want and I go to UVs here and my Maya is really slow let me just save my scene for a sec okay so I'm probably gonna have to do one by one for some reason Maya is really slow right now not sure what's going on okay let me delete history as well so under your UV toolkit open up the unfold um, and click on fold and that should pretty much give you see something that doesn't look right let's see let's go to faces and control one here to isolate just those pieces and let's see where we need to cut oh now i'm going to enable the um shaded mode So let's see. We may have to cut UVs here as well. Let's cut there. And for some reason there's a weird connection here somewhere. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go ahead and try to unfold it one more time. Click the unfold tool. Also, let me disable a symmetry. I don't need that anymore. Oh, well, now it's a lot faster. For some reason, symmetry was making my scene really slow. Uh, let's see, so there's something wrong here. Not quite sure why I'm getting this. It's weird. Maybe I missed something. So it's very strange. Let me go to modify uh, unfold options box and use the legacy. Pick uh, the default settings I find. Oh, I think I was already using that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know why. Did I miss this here? Let's see. Oh, I think I did. Let's see, cut there. What's that? Oh, it's like it's got an edge there somewhere. Oh, okay. Looks like that may have been a problem. Let's click on fold again. Okay, so we're still getting that. Um, it looks like. I'm going to cut this here. Not sure why the unfold tool is not giving me the best results. I mean, this shape is not really complicated at all. Still one piece. Uh, 
Okay, so we have this out now. Let's control that. Strange, and false not doing anything. Let's see. It's three. Fold it. This is really unexpected. So this is the shape that's giving me problems here. Yeah, it's really strange. It's not, it's not complicated at all. Let me do a planar map on it. I mean, even my planar map just gives me a better result than the unfold tool. Try the unfold. Okay, so yeah, that's really weird. It's almost like the unfolds not even doing anything. Let's try that again. Yeah, something's going wrong with my unfold tool. Not quite sure what's going on. Let's uh, do a planar map on this. So even the planar map is giving me better results than the unfold tool. Maybe there's something with the settings. Let's see, let's reset settings. Go to legacy, because I just prefer that. Or let's try the new unfold tool, let's see what we get with that. The reason I don't like the new unfold 3D is that it just takes a while for some reason. But I can see, as we can see here, actually gave me a good result. Uh, click on the checker box, and as we can see, no distortion at all. Everything looks good and dandy. Uh, yeah, that looks good. I think the other side of the info box it looks fine as well. So maybe I should start using the new info tool. Let me connect this back. Let's see how much time do we have here. Oh, 18 minutes. We are going past our time. So uh, we have run out of time here, but what I would do is, let's see, I would continue to unfold and if the unfold to a legacy is not giving you the results that you're looking for, switch to the new one I guess and uh, wait a while because it, for some reason it takes longer and that should give you better results. So anyway, after you're done, usually what I like to do is go to uh, let's see, Arrange and Layout. I like to click on Orient because this straightens some of the uh, things in here so that they face the they are uh, facing horizontally or vertically. And yeah, that's usually what I do. Uh, we have run out of time here, but um, yeah, I would just unfold all the rest of the pieces and do a layout basically and just arrange your things in the UV space. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, we didn't get too far with this one, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions, make sure you leave the comment below. And if you want your model to be UV in an episode, just uh, follow the description below. And yeah, thank you for watching. Did you like the finished model? Do you want to learn how I made this stylized material I always use in all my models? Check the link in the description below to learn how to make it from scratch with my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a stylized material within Substance Painter.